so our tour was scheduled at 11 am in the morning and the entry ticket per person here at the oval stadium is 15 pounds and it is also included in the london pass so the oval cricket ground has a lot of history behind it the first sport to be played here wasn't cricket it was rugby and after that 20 fa cups of football have also been played on this ground and now it is currently used for cricket and this is where the first ashes match had been played so the first stop of the tour was the wall on which the players who have hit centuries and bowled fifers at the oval were written down So this area which you are seeing right now is the lounge room of the Oval Stadium where members of the Surrey Cricket Club can enjoy have a snack or even sit inside if the weather is cold to have a view of the match. So this is the museum of the Oval Stadium where the evolution of balls and the gloves of players like Alex Stewart and even the bats are kept So the doors which you can see are named after Sir Don Bradman. He had played his last test match at the Oval and had got out on 99 because of which his 100 run average could not be maintained. So this is the visitors dressing room where the away team sits when they are here on tour at the Oval and you can see the names of players written on the walls as they have written the names and signature when they have come here and played over here So the Oval Stadium also has a terrace bar which is used for corporate parties or events and which is very costly which can cost you up to 80000 rupees per day as a single ticket so this is the commentary box of the oval stadium So this is the room for both analysis and commentary. Both things are done in this room. And this is the press room which has up to 70 seats and press from all over the world come here to take photos, write journals and articles and they have lots of space for them. So as the tour lasted for about an hour and 30 minutes 
we decided to take the hop on hop off buses and discover the rest of the city. So the ticket for each person on the hop on hop off bus is 32 pounds and the ticket lasts for the whole day and the buses service till 6.30 pm and after that your ticket won't be valid. So this is Harrod Street where it has all the fancy brands like Rolex, Louis Vuitton but unfortunately we didn't have enough time to go inside and explore. So after discovering some places from the bus, we decided to get off at the Kensington Palace which is temporarily closed until the King's coronation but it is a beautiful walk connecting to the Hyde Park and its beautiful pond. So the tour of Kensington Palace is also included in the London Pass which costs you £17 per person if you are coming here and purchasing it. So the swans in the pond are very playful and they even come near you if you show your hand or call them. So we ended day 3 early by visiting St. Mary's Church and then going back to our hotel and chilling for the rest of the time. So we started our day 4 by coming at this market and there are all types of stalls from all different types of countries like you have the rare vegetables, the different types of cheese and all of that and it is a great place if you have a lot of time to spend. So the thing that you should be knowing is that the London Pass is valid for the calendar days like if you are traveling for 3 days the pass will be valid for 3 calendar days and not for 72 hours so you should keep that in mind when you buy the London Pass. So this is the Shakespeare Globe Museum which is also included in the London Pass and the ticket for it is £23 per person but we didn't have enough time to go inside and take the tour so we just decided 
to go and check out the Tate Modern Art Museum. So the entry at the Tate Modern Art Museum is completely free but there are some parts in the museum where you have to buy a ticket for it but there are two floors which are completely free and they are big enough and the museum may seem boring to some people which aren't much interested in art as it is totally different. So if you are a core fan of English Premier League buying the London Pass is the best option for you because it has tours like the Chelsea Football Club, then the Tottenham Stadium and even the Emirates Stadium of Arsenal and also the home of football, Wembley Stadium. All the tours are included in the London Pass. So this in front of me is St. Paul's Cathedral which is also included in the London Pass and the entry ticket for it is £20 per person and it is actually very beautiful from the inside too and also from the outside. Unfortunately we didn't have enough time to visit the St. Paul's Cathedral but then we got off at Trafalgar Square by taking the bus and decided to have some good Indian food at Sarvana Bhavan. So now it was time to go home as our train was at 4.30 pm and it was a great trip and the arc which you can see is the Wembley arc on top over there. So guys I know I couldn't cover some major attractions in London like the Wembley Stadium then the Lord Stadium and even the Madame Tussauds. But we will be back in London in the month of July and I will be covering all the things which I have missed and showing it to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the London series. If you have, please make sure to subscribe, share this video as much as possible and see you in the next one.